Hello my buddies, welcome to a setup video with Kim Tech. My name is Kim. Today we'll be unboxing and setting up the Netgear Orbi AX5400 3-pack from Costco. This 3-pack Wi-Fi 6 mesh system includes one router and two satellite units and it's marketed that it covers up to 7,500 square feet with seamless Wi-Fi coverage and supports up to 75 devices with this tri-band. If you're eager to get them up and running, you can jump straight to the setup section with a timestamp in the description box below. If not, let's get on with the unboxing. To save time, first disconnect your old router, and since my modem likes to cache itself, I restart it as well. Then plug in the Netgear router, make sure that it's not the satellite unit, then power it up and plug it into the modem. It's fine to connect the Netgear router while the modem is restarting. Also, if possible, place the two satellites at the desired locations and turn them on. Netgear recommends placing your satellites at table height, away from fish tanks, metal shelves, microwave ovens, and other wireless devices. While the modem and Netgear router are booting back up, download the Orbi app, then open it and agree to Netgear's terms and conditions. Tap continue here to allow local network access, then tap allow. You can enable notifications now or leave it off. Tap allow for Wi-Fi auto connect using location services. Sign into an existing Netgear account if you don't have an account, then you can create one. Since I already have one, I'm going to sign in. Connect via anywhere doesn't work for me. I kept getting Wi-Fi not detected. Well, because I don't have Wi-Fi set up yet. So I selected new system setup. From there, it takes me to the welcome setup screen to get started. Tap enable camera and scan. Then tap OK to allow the Orbi app to access the camera. Don't get too close to the QR code though because it won't be able to scan. Once the scan is complete, you will see the network name found screen. Just tap continue. Since we disconnected the old router at the very beginning and connected the new router, these next few steps will go a lot faster. Tap I unplugged everything. Tap Ethernet is connected. The modem LED light should be on and stayed on by now. So tap modem LED it is steady. If not, then wait for it. Tap LED is solid white on the Orbi when it's true, then tap next. And if you have already placed your satellite units and turned them on, then these next steps should be a bit faster. You may need to go to where your satellite units are for the Orbi app to see that the satellites are up. Mine weren't up yet, so I had to wait for them to turn on. Once they are on and ready, the Orbi app will prompt you to continue. So tap continue and tap continue again on the join network screen. Tap join to join the Orbi network, which is fairly quick. And your Orbi network is detected. It will go through checking the cables, then the internet connection. When both have been satisfied, the detecting satellite screen will remind you to turn on all the satellite units. So if you already have them turned on earlier, this may save you some time. If your satellite unit couldn't be found, the Orbi app will advise you how to fix the problem with the LED ring color. So if you see amber for the LED, then you may want to move the satellite closer to the Orbi router. And if you see magenta, then you definitely need to move the satellite closer to the Orbi router because it will not be detected to connect. Tap search again when you're ready and the Orbi app will go through the process of detecting the satellites again. 
I think my cell phone wasn't connected to the Orbi network, so I was prompted with another Orbi not found error and was advised to temporarily disable cellular or mobile data. If you get the same issue, then go to your cell phone setting and turn off cellular and tap try again. To be honest, I didn't even turn off my cellular yet. I just popped out the Orbi app once the settings and popped back in and tap try again. The Orbi app tried detecting the satellite's units again, and two minutes later, the Orbi app successfully detected the one Orbi satellite I turned on. If you have both satellites turned on, then both should be found. So if you want, you can try popping out the Orbi app first and pop back in before disabling cellular service. And if you have both satellites turned on, then both should be found. If only one of the two is found, then try rebooting both satellite units and make sure both are on and do the search again. When you're set with the screen and all satellites unit have been detected, then tap next to personalize your settings. Type in your SSID. This is what your Wi-Fi is going to be called. Then type in what the password should be. Please make sure the password must be at least eight characters. Tap done and next when you're done. You can change both the name and password later if you do not like the name or password. Then you'll be prompted to set up the admin login. The user is admin, which cannot be changed. You will need this admin account when logging in from the web to make changes to the network. The requirement for the password of the admin account is 10 to 32 characters with at least one uppercase and one lowercase letter. Although having a number or special character is not required here, I would highly recommend it if you want to add a level of security to your password. You can view the password to make sure that it's what you intended to type out and save the password in a safe place. Then next. As part of configuring the router, set up the security questions and answer to help recover the admin password. To select the questions, tap the down arrow, then tap the answer fields to type in the answers. As a security recommendation, you do not have to follow this by any means but maybe consider putting in false answers to your security questions because so many people nowadays put in this info publicly. So anyone can have access to this info if your social media profile is public, but make sure you know the answers or put them in a password vault if you have one. Just something to keep in mind, especially for your bank accounts, investment accounts, or accounts that you consider to be high importance. At any rate, tap continue once you're done. Orbi will start personalizing and will take you to the next screen where it will make sure your mobile devices are connected to the newly created Wi-Fi network. This takes a bit, two to three minutes, and a prompt will pop up asking if you want Orbi to join your new Wi-Fi network. Just tap join. It took about a minute or so to go to the next screen, prompting for an update to the firmware. So just tap update if you see the firmware update required screen. It will go through its process of updating then rebooting your Orbeez. So do not unplug or power off your Orbeez during this process. Just let us do its thing. Mine took about five minutes, but it can take about seven minutes for the firmware update to complete. Tap next when the update is successful. It will take a few minutes to go through connecting to Orbi again and prompting to join the newly created network. Just tap join. And when it's done, you are up and running. Your Orbi is now configured, so tap next. You'll be prompted with a survey on how your setup experience was, so your answer is up to you. I closed the prompt because I haven't confirmed everything is working correctly 100% yet. Now that your home Wi-Fi is up, for every device that was connected to the old network under the same Wi-Fi name and password, Orbi will add them automatically to your new network. If it doesn't by some unfortunate chance, then you need to react them manually. It's worth noting that this setup was done with an iPhone. If you're using an Android, some steps may be a bit different, but shouldn't be much. I'm going to do some testing and come back with a review video on this, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. Hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please click the thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it down below. Thank you again for watching this video and have yourself a nice day or night wherever you are, my buddies. Until next time, bye.